Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Another great article here from Mike over at Light Reading. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out. <clears throat> so looks like more problems for T-Mobile to have to deal with. T-Mobile's 5G is interfering with our FWA service, uh, Bl Bl Blue Surf alleges. So this is a company that does FWA services. I guess it's in the frequency range close to what T-Mobile uses that would cause this interference. They might be using 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, who knows? But they're claiming <clears throat> that um, T-Mobile is interfering with their services. So Blow, uh, Blow Surf, which offers fixed wireless service in Maryland and elsewhere, claims T-Mobile's 5G service is interfering with its network and it's reiterating calls to the FCC to step in and do something. So they're actually requesting. So it sounds like this didn't start until T-Mobile started to put it, uh, start to putting the auction 108 licenses to use because T-Mobile has been operating 2.5 for the last like four years already. So this must have just started with the interference as soon as T-Mobile started operating and putting to use auction 108 license. And this company is calling on the FCC to completely freeze those licenses until this can be resolved. That is exactly what they're asking for. A fixed wireless access provider called um, uh, Blowsurf claims T-Mobile's 5G network is interfering with its operations in Maryland and the company is asking the FCC to freeze T-Mobile's new 2.5 Spectrum license until the issue is resolved. Now, I, I would be furious if I'm T-Mobile on this. Right, that's something that Ver Verizon was claiming during their early on analyst day after they got the holdings of C-band that the C-band frequency that they use is a clean channel. T-Mobile's 2.5 is right in the range of like uh, microwaves and Wi-Fi and, and, and other devices. And now apparently also interfering with FWA services of a, a more rural broadband provider, it seems. So... You, did, you got the Spectrum relatively cheap if you're T-Mobile, right? You got it through the Sprint merger. You got additional customers, if you will. You got towers. So all of that helped. But that 2.5 Spectrum channel is not necessarily the cleanest in the industry. 600 is clean because nobody else uses that really around the world. There's, there's hardly any devices that carry 600 megahertz. So that was really a good channel for T-Mobile to get. But the 2.5... They kind of bit in that sour apple because of, like I said, some of the interference issues with other stuff being in those ranges and then the fragmentation issue that they have uh, in some parts of the country. So they took that, they bit the sour apple and they said, screw it, we'll, we'll make it work. And even after acquiring Sprint, they still had to spend $300 million to get Auction 108. Now that's relatively cheap, but they still had to spend that money even after spending $26 billion on Sprint. So interesting issue. I'll keep you guys updated. We'll see what happens. We'll see what T-Mobile does with this. We'll see what the FCC does. They're probably the ultimate uh, decision maker in this case. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.